currently a little bit past Halloween, so I guess you probably won't use this for a year or so, or a little less, I guess, really. Anyway, this is uh, Jack from, uh, I think it's the, the Nightmare Before Christmas, and um, I saw this on one of the YouTube uh, channels. They didn't show how they made it exactly, so I kind of looked at it and figured it out. So I'm going to try and show you how I do it. I will also post a link to the one that I saw, and you'll see a few differences. But uh, anyway, this uses three black balloons and one white and one round. And then, of course, it uses a little bit of Sharpie art. So anyway, let's see how we do it. I'm going to use different colors so you can hopefully follow along. Anyway, we're going to start with the... Uh, the arms and uh, then we'll do the body Anyway, you'll see so I'm going to blow up what will be the hands there. we'll use that for the hands then I will start with a black one I'm going to tie the black and the white together I like to do my hands like a two finger bubble and then a three, or, uh, a three or a four finger bubble. Twist those around each other and pinch twist them. And wrap the rest of the balloon around the hand. Get rid of that. Okay. We'll save that for the uh, the other hand and what we'll also hold on the head. Okay. So now this is where we are right here. So we're going to do about four, maybe five fingers, and we're going to do a pinch twist. That'll be your elbow. Oh, okay. Then we're going to do about the same thing and another pinch twist. And that will be your shoulder. So, here we go. We have a. Just a, a ring that bit so you can see. So we have the hand. Okay. Now we're going to put everything down for just a moment. I will grab another balloon. We'll use a gray one. Of course, you'll use black and all of this. I'm just using two different colors, so hopefully you can follow it, if, you know, easily. Along. Easily. Anyway, two fingers. Once again, both four fingers. And do a twist, and then we split twist that. And hopefully, that will also make the uh, the neck, and you know, tie the head on. So once again, we are going to measure the side here and we'll do our elbow then we will do the uh, bicep area of the arm then we have two arms like that now we need to do here we have to do across the chest or across the neck I guess so we'll do about five right there May maybe six okay. we're up over Start wrapping there. Now we're going to take the black one and go back the other way. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to go to the sorry, I'll pick up Jack here. We're going to I'll draw Jack one time. Okay. So now we're going to go here with two balloons right to a V shape. Make this, uh, like Jack is kind of uh, tall and skinny, but use your own proportions, okay? So, well there, now I'm pulling one of those through, and that will keep Jack's upper body from untwisting. Now we'll do about four fingers, and I am making, we've, we've come together here, and now you can see we have two bubbles right there, okay? So, we're, these are the two bubbles that we're, we're doing. Um, I want to make sure they don't unwind, so I'm going to push one through. There we go. And, I'm going to push it right into there, okay? Then we'll take one to one side and one to the other side, just like I've got here, just, just one there and one on this side. So those are what we've got. We just about four fingers, whatever you think you need to get up to the shoulder. And we'll do the exact same on the other side. 
wrap that around a couple of times, pull the end off, boom, and wrap it underneath, and we'll do the same over here, pull the end off, wrap it underneath. Now that turned to unwind. Now we're going to do the, the legs, and on my jack, I also put a bum there, I find it helps keep the, uh, the legs kind of forward without just hanging down, okay, so there's the bum. We're going to make that out of a, another balloon, and I'm going to use green. Right, tie that up. So, we'll do about four fingers, and a twist. Then we're going to give Jack a long uh, shin bone, then a small thigh, and I will push that right through the body. Wrap it around a couple of times. Then I'm going to do two pinch twists. There's one. Do one more pinch twist. Fighting all of this into position. Now we're going back down the leg, so match up the knees, we match up our ankle, and let's get rid of the end here, that's good, slide up, of course, well, we'll fix that pinch twist in just a moment, there we go, okay, I'm just going to shape that again, now, just so we can kind of see where we're going. There. I'm trying to uh, force the legs somewhat forward. My guess is I made my pinch twist too big, that's why my legs are coming forward. But do better than me, okay? So, once again, this is where we are, and this is where we are here. Okay? Hopefully you can kind of follow through. We're going to adjust the arms in just a moment. Now we will blow up our five inch round. Good. That's uh, almost all the way really. Tie it up. And then what I like to do is put another knot here. It just gives me something to grab onto when I uh, tulip twist these together. So we give it a good push in about as far as it'll go, you know, two, three fingers, pull and twist and pull. There, okay, that will make it stand up. Let's grab our head and we will force this in between the neck or the shoulders, I guess. Okay. So my, I got my Tulip twist right in between the shoulder or the yeah the shoulder neck area. Make our white balloon to fit into the twist here. Wrapping it around whatever number of times you want to. Now we'll get rid of that. That's all we need. And uh, if you want. You know, tie up this white one or just keep wrapping it around, whatever you like. We'll adjust the body. We'll adjust the arms. And, yeah, I would definitely cut that off, but you know you'll cut it off, okay? So there we have Jack. Um, if I was to do it again, I might make the shoulder part just a little smaller and then of course we use our sharpie and we color the eyes on and we give it some nostrils that that's important and we give it a stitched on type smile and that is a fairly simple jack and i hope you like it okay thank you very much